Alright everybody, return to the jungle number three. This is going to be round one, Amazonia, best out of one, and it's going to be between two undead players. On the top right, we got Game Buy, also known as GB. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry, I made the mistake here. Top right is Scrapper. I got confused with the name over here. Top right is Scrapper, spawning as the Red Undead, opening up with Hero first. At the bottom left, we got Game Buy, also known as GB, opening up with. He's also opening up with Alter first here. Orange versus Red. And Amazonia. And apart from that, for the viewers, Scyth Cithrin is also casting. Currently, he will be casting a game in round two since we didn't have a full um, list of, of uh, players. Some people get a buy for round two. Death Knight coming in for Scapper. And GB will probably also make a Death Knight. Ziggurat is slightly delayed, of course. I think this is a Crypt build, or I was wrong, I guess, over there. This is Crypt first. Scout Acolyte for Scapper coming in. He's going to go and check over the base of GB. Death Knight now coming in for GB. 50% done here. This is Undead versus Undead. And on a map like this, Amazonia. Let's see how it works out. Uh, I'm not really expecting anything too uh, drastically different over here in this particular matchup because, well, I know one of their playstyles at least. The other one seems to be opening up and going in for a pretty standard Undead. No um, weird stuff going on over there. Let's see how it turns out as the Scout Acolyte will stay here. It appears that it wants to know what hero GB is going for. That's exactly why it is here though. Once it knows the hero, it can get the hell out of there. Of course, the Acolytes have some extra speed. Now, they got some extra speed with the latest patches. So, they should be able to escape without much of a problem. We got the Death Knight of Camper coming in. Some sc scout skeleton warriors being summoned over there with that critter. And he is going in towards the base of GB. No, he's gonna go for some creeping. Gonna creep out this uh, green camp up here. Oh, wait a second, sorry, that's an orange camp. It seems so small and uh, so risky for a newly out hero, which is just out, you know, that you would actually mistake it for a green camp. But it is an orange camp. GB out with two ghouls and uh, got himself in a Rubian Tower there. He's not going to waste any time on that Acolyte. And uh oh, it appears that he's going to detect where Scamper is. Scamper will be done creeping this camp out without much of a hassle. GB is going in for an oh, assault, it appears. Yeah. And uh, he won't be able, although he won't be able to death coil any of the undead units since undead units won't be taking any damage from that. He should be able to. Uh, he's going in towards the gold line. All right, nicely done. Using your opponent's graveyard for your advantage. That's one thing you can do as an undead player. Now, Scapper has got to be careful. GB is in here uh, with uh, two ghouls over there. Scapper has three, and uh, GB gonna heal away his ghouls with a death coil. Uh, GB going in towards the gold line. He's gonna harass it with everything he's got. Scapper uh, reacting very nicely over here, forcing G uh, GB out of this uh, situation. There are uh, two more death coils from what I can see on the death knight of GB. Scapper has about one more death coil right now. He's gonna have uh, the regeneration as well. And there we go, one de ghoul dead, second ghoul died for GB. So Scapper will be gaining level two with that. He got himself a Cloak of sh Shadows from the earlier camp that he crept. That is of course more useful now with the new patches. You can also hide during the daytime. That is something you can do now. And it appears that something's wrong with my chat. Somebody said something, but I don't see anything yet. I'm gonna have to check that up later. Scapper going in for some more creeping while GB returns back to the base without much of a fruitful uh, exchange from that uh, early assault. He's going to try and take out that Aqualite and should be successful in doing so. He got his first fiend out, second fiend out now. Tier 2 almost done. For Scapper, tier 2 is already done, alright, so Scapper is already ahead of GB right now. The second hero will be out faster, the Slaughterhouse will be dropped down faster, he's gonna get Obsidian Statues first. So he is taking the lead in this game from what I can understand.
we're gonna pull in some green camps and well those are easier to do and Pulling them over the blind is definitely advisable. If I were GB, I would be going for some orange camps right now. Especially this one which Scapper is going for. Because this is a camp you can creep out with the number of fiends he already has. Well, you can basically creep it out with just two skeleton warriors. And the Death Knight Scapper just demonstrated that to us. Scapper coming in with his un Unholy Aura. GB definitely in his level 2. That Unholy Aura is so priceless for the Undead Army. Okay, picking up that tome. I'm going to skill the skeleton warrior. But he's still staggering at level 1. Scapperton creeping at that camp and he's going to go for a final one. One more kill on basically anything even a skeleton warrior for Scapper will give his death knight level 3. Lich coming out. Lich is already out for Scapper. This is going to be difficult. GB now going in for some orange camps and he's simultaneously creeping out two camps at the same time it appears. Going to pull them both out and then attack them one by one. Scapper is at the goblin merchant over there now getting to level 3 and it appears that He's going to take this full camp head on and uh, that's actually going to provide the Lich of Scapper with some experience points. That is good. That is um, good thinking over there to delay uh, the creeping. Uh, let the creep survive for a bit and then let the Lich arrive over there and pick up the experience. That's one thing you can do. Lich is out for GB as well so he should be able to take on Scapper. Uh, GB already picking Frost to Nova as a spell. He wants to go for New King it appears. Of course, the new versus undead won't be as powerful because there is no death coil this time. Unless and until Scapper goes in for any kind of mercenary or uh, tavern hero as the third one. Tavern hero, which is not undead by the way, because because we do have two tavern undead heroes like the Dark Ranger and the Pit Lord. They are undead heroes. They heal with the death coil and they cannot be damaged with the death coil. There we go, Frost Nova on that fiend, but it's going to be healed with the death coil immediately. GB trying to focus that one fiend over there, going to burrow down one of the fiends, his own fiends, going to burrow another one, get the, get that back one up and oh oh he's going to get the kill, there we go! Scrapper tried to, tried to heal it at the very last second but couldn't do it. GB losing one fiend in the process but he will have the better half of this exchange because he should be able to take out that other fiend over there, nicely done by GB. And gonna have to be careful on that lich over there. Does have a full mana tank though, it can cast a lot more death coils, that death knight is full on mana. On Scapper Sky, Scapper doesn't have enough mana for another Death Coil just yet. He's gonna have it real, real soon though. Uh, still attacking the Lich, trying to target it down. Scapper has the Frost Armor and uh, Frost uh, Nova on that Lich. May want to use the Frost Armor. That's gonna be useful uh, if he casts this on the Death Knight. Uh, does he have enough mana for that? He does. I guess he's saving up for the Frost Nova. You want that Frost Nova? That deadly, deadly Frost Nova is so, so super powerful over there. GB now calling back in his Burrowed Fiends. He's going to keep them in and oh, oh there we go Scapper now going to attack GB's one of none of his fiends died over there GB's other fiend being burrowed Scapper does not have dust from what I know yes no dust is there so that's definitely what GB wants to do uh, fighting on the undead and keeping the other player off of the blight is one of the strategies you can imply here but uh, GB went in for the Nerubian tower on the very uh, yeah, this tower would have been more useful in this particular uh, scenario right now, but then again, I'm not an undead player. So I guess uh, that's one, one of those decisions that I don't understand for the time being. Scout Skeleton Warrior survives. Hmm. No, it got picked off over there. Uh-oh. Burrowed. And sur no, it didn't survive. The projectile of the fiends reached it late, but it did reach it. Another fiend being burrowed, but the projectile... No, the projectile didn't kill it. There we go, it survived. Another fiend is out over there, but it's gonna burrow, but it, it may get taken out. There we go, a lot of fiends dying in for GB. GB wanna change some strats here. Uh, gonna use some sort of other tactic to focus Scrapper away, uh, to drive Scrapper away from this uh, situation here. Scrapper right now has a level three and two, he two, uh, three and two heroes. GB is at two and one. GB definitely needs a few more kills because uh, can't really uh, deal with this without a level 3 death knight and at least a level 2 lich. Alright, tier 3 was already there for GB and he already bought himself uh, the orb of corruption and what do we have here? Scapper already did that as well. That's something that I did not detect, okay. Slaughterhouse was ready for Scapper since a while but uh, the funny thing was that we didn't see any obsidian statues in that last fight. I guess he didn't have it uh, right clicked uh, on the hero or something like that. He was far more busy in the fight. GB putting down a sacrificial pit. Ooh. 
spooky and he does have a nice uh, tree wall cleared up towards the inner side of his base to drop down what, it, what we know he will drop down later on. We're probably going to see Frost Firms coming in. GB does have the attack and defense upgrade for the Frost Firms and Fiends, so those are going to be useful. And I believe the same one applies for Destroyers as well. Bought himself a Pit Lord, that's a super beefy hero. And uh, got Howl of Terror with that. Howl of Terror is of course super useful. I've also seen use of um, Rain of uh, Fire, which is also useful. And uh oh, Scapper left behind the tome. Scapper left behind the tome and now he is, uh, he seems to be going in for assault, but uh oh, here comes Game Boy, Game Boy coming in. He's going to attack Scapper's uh, Tomb of Relics. Scapper gonna be forced to come back to his base to try and defend that. He's, he may lose that uh, Tomb of Relics though, it's already down to 50%. GB doesn't really have an army to actually take it out super early on. Here comes Scapper, trying to get in position, uh, try to block away that fiend. Uh, GB out of the situation. Uh, well, partially. Uh oh, uh oh. Nice, beautiful surround on that pit lord, and GB realizing that there is no way that he can save it. He came back to try and save it, but there was no way he could have saved it. The pit lord didn't have any heal uh, or potion items, any teleportation items. There was nothing like that. And uh, the only thing that could have saved him by a long shot was a death coil and immediate TP. Like, the only thing that GB could have done, and that wouldn't have been that worth it though. Currently, uh, and 11-1 uh, hero of course can be revived uh, pretty fast. Uh, Scapper has a sentry ward right outside GB's base. That's of course going to also detect the borrowed fiends that uh, borrow nearby that. So that's one disadvantage for GB. GB putting down a boneyard, we know what's coming. Although he should have put that put it down at the back side of the base so that Scapper wouldn't know about. But Scapper knows about this now and he should be going in for a sort of a counter. Currently he's sitting at a 45 food army and he, it's capped at 50. He has not dropped down his fifth ziggurat just yet. He bought his uh, second hero, third hero though sorry, that's gonna be Dark Ranger. So it's gonna be Dark Ranger versus Pit Lord in this scenario from what I see. Shade is out for GB, it's gonna go out. Maybe uh, gonna try and find where Scapper is. Scapper, uh oh, after creeping out a red camp, he got himself a Django of Endurance. Ancient Django of Endurance. So this is a pretty, this is a pretty bad item. Like bad as in it's it's dangerous, and uh, it increases your uh, movement speed and attack speed, and you already have. Uh, the unholy aura so that's super super bad for GB and this is what I said earlier GB could have tried this one uh, the last time but he didn't really have a lot of units to take value out of that earlier and uh oh this time he maybe should have left that feed behind it could have been saved so the boneyard is ready and the frost worms are coming in Scapper probably should have some web, up web upgrades done ready. Scapper has like uh, 1k gold over there what's he doing all right he's gonna train a fiend he has uh, crossed upkeep right now by the way scapper just broke upkeep gb is still at 43 food uh, of an army gb will have to cross upkeep uh, anytime now the, now the thing is that uh, if you're gonna go for frost firms they cost you a lot of food if you got if you really want to have a sustainable army with frost firms and stuff you're definitely gonna have to break upkeep there the scapper doing everything he can to stop that uh, frost firm from spawning and uh, this is looking dangerous for gb gb is pinned inside his base at this point and uh, he has not pulled in any acolytes to repair it he doesn't have a sixth acolyte over there and oh, oh what the hell gb just lost his lich this is looking really bad he's gonna try and take out the lich for scapper but they got death coil to heal it the boneyard goes down before the frost frost worm comes out and this game is slipping out in the hands of gb gb calls the gg this is game and scapper advances to um, round two then.